Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I'll talk about the month of August 2022 for the sign of Scorpio. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Scorpio, keep watching this video. So Scorpio, before I start, I just want to let you know that this is a general reading. I'm an intuitive astrologer, which means I'm reading the planets in astrology and then I'm using my intuition and the energies in the energy field to bring uh, messages to you. And really my end goal is to help you raise your self-awareness and also like expanding your consciousness and raising your vibrations because i don't know a lot of you scorpios that are watching uh this video are on a really high spiritual path and it's going to be kind of a life-changing month right especially since we have the notes and the north node is in conjunction with uranus and on the first of august it's in conjunction with uranus and mars and it's on the same degree so we're going to have a massive change when it comes to the area of your relationships okay so we have the south node in your sign in the first house and you're letting go of the fact that you don't feel like you need any help uh, this super empowered individualistic personality uh, you're going to leave behind and you're going to learn how to give and take in a more balanced way okay so a lot of you are maybe suddenly meeting a new partner this could be um, very unexpected like someone just comes into your life and everything will change so there's definitely uh, kind of a, a force pushing you towards working more with one-to-one -one relationships. It could also be that an old relationship or a current relationship is ending and you're learning more about give and take. And if you were in this old paradigm where you just gave, gave, gave without receiving, then the universe is going to kind of cut it off. So I don't want you to be afraid. Every healthy, strong relationship will survive anything, even if it's a Uranus conjunction with the North Node. So yeah, maybe you decide to get married like in unexpected ways, but there is going to be old, because Scorpio rules the eighth house and it's about cycles. So no wonder that Scorpio risings especially have to deal with a lot of cycles, right? It's about uh, death, rebirth, right? Um, <laughs> so we're, and then rising from the ashes. And how do we rise from the ashes? It's by forgiveness, right? And Taurus is the sign of stability. So very often, Scorpio, you're looking for someone that's very stable and very you like someone that's also financially stable that you can learn from because scorpio feels emotions very intensely uh it feels emotions very strongly so there are going to be a lot of changes in that besides that we have a full moon in aquarius so again uh it's almost like aquarian energy are almost overruling this leo and virgo season right um we have this full moon in your fourth house so and it's opposing the sun in your 10th house so there is going to be some some type of breakthrough uh when it comes to work it could be that a partnership was holding you back from work and when you break up you're suddenly going up could be that there will be a breakthrough with some kind of partnership so it's on the axis of the 10th and the 4th house, but with Uranus, it's always unexpected, so it's very hard to tell. could be that you have some kind of business partnership in an online business, and things are taking off, and you know you need to work really hard, and you need to find the balance between family, 4th house, uh, between uh, work, 10th house, you know, and with Aquarius in the 4th house, a lot of you are working from home as well, right? Because... Uh, we have the fourth house ruled by Uranus. So, yeah, there will be a lot of 
uh, breakthroughs, a lot of changes. We have Jupiter in your sixth house. So you're definitely um, putting a lot of focus on work. There are going to be some lucky breakthroughs, some rewards for all the hard work you've done. Uh, for a long time, you've been struggling with your, um, maybe also with your health, right? So there could be, um, it's almost like you've been putting yourself in a lower position. Well, you should put yourself like over here. Like Kyron really told you like, oh, I can't be my individ individual self when I'm working um, because I'm coming off too strong, too threatening, right? People are intimidated by uh, Scorpios, but in reality, like you have to be yourself as well, right? If you come from a good place, uh, and I don't mean the dark side of uh, the Scorpionic energies and I'm not saying that to judge because I'm a Scorpio moon and a Scorpio ascendant so I know how aware Scorpios are of their own actions and they can easily manipulate people and that's the dark side but the bright side is that you can read people and really be there for others and it's about doing using that into your job right to be this uh have this empathy towards other people and really transform them right so how can you transform other people is by leaving behind your old baggage and um be ready for the new so you can help others we cannot help others until we help ourselves uh yeah we also have venus in your ten thousand leo so how amazing is that? You're like super magnetic. Work is going to be absolutely fantastic. If you're on social media or you're in the public uh, with some kind of job, this is going to be very rewarding. Um, so yeah, be maybe you find love. Maybe people just approach you in the public. Like you're going to be very magnetic and people really want to talk to you. And then we have a new moon in the sign of virgo and it's in the first degree so it really depends how many degrees is your sun or your ascendant um but i'm just gonna say it's in the 11th house could be in the 10th but could be in the 11th right um unfortunately i don't have time enough to do different deacons but um i'm reading the general energies so virgo in the 11th house it's about uh interacting so you're very you love having deep conversations with your friends you want to get out there you want to talk to your friends uh though it is squaring mars in the eighth house in gemini so i'm gonna say this yeah so mm, be aware that you're not forming too strong opinions when it comes to your friends but you can also just go on an adventure together uh make sure that if you sleep with one of your friends because we have mars in the eighth house that you make it a decision that you stand behind okay uh yeah some of you are arranging papers when it comes to moving like getting everything done uh or thinking about investing in property let me get to some cards, my lovely Scorpios, to see if I have something else to add for you. If I have something else to add for you. Okay. I see that some of you have been anxious and it's almost like you're being anxious to be successful. What would I, because you're kind of like a behind the scenes uh, person, you're, you're, you prefer to be more private and like if you have success, you're not that private anymore, right? So you're gonna be like more out in the open and sometimes I feel you're worried about it. Um, and this could also be being revealed in relationships, okay? So I'm getting the moon, like embrace your emotions. So really embrace how you're really feeling. And you know, you might meet someone new or be in, a, in your current relationship, you might hide your feelings sometimes and this might push your partner away okay because i'm seeing very strong boundaries so try vulnerability try to open up and uh i feel like most of you get the whole individual part like really well but with the north noted taurus it's like you need to value yourself in relationships just as much as when you're alone so don't be sad 
right? I feel that some of you might make like a little trip. I don't necessarily see like huge trips, but maybe a little trip to kind of enhance your creativity with Neptune during the fifth house. You're feeling very creative. You might like meditation or swimming in your spare time. So, and it's definitely about manifesting and creating, but I feel that some of you are definitely going to have some type of breakthrough. Like, I feel like, ooh, like, I don't know. I want to like speak a lot. I feel a, a sense of confidence and it's time to share this confidence with the people you love. All right, King of Pentacles, look at you. You're going to have success. Don't fear success. Maybe it's just around the corner and maybe you deserve that, right? And with success, I say career, but it could also be success as a parent, right? Being successful as a parent, as a father, uh, as, as a mother is also success, okay? You can be retired and maybe you want to to have a hobby where you're in a play for example and you can be successful in that and recognized in that so there are many ways to be recognized for being in the public right um i feel that you're leaving behind something we're gonna have uranus retrograde so it could also be that an ex is going to contact you or someone from overseas uh is going back to you um yeah there is some there are some people that maybe you need some closure with okay so it could be either them or you that's going to contact you to close this situation and page of pentacles so uh some of you have started really small with some kind of project this could be for a, a job or it could be uh in your self-employment and the idea is small but starting small is starting somewhere. And I want to give you a last soul lesson card to see what's the overall lesson. Oh, Scorpio, it's so warm here. I put on air conditioning and then I was like, okay, that's so expensive. So I turned it off, but literally I'm melting. <laughs> I mean, it's out of Spain. So much fun. Yes. Alrighty, righty, righty. Well, let's see here. Imagination. What did we talk about? Your creativity, like starting small, but with your imagination, it's a start that you know that that this thing that you're working on can be much bigger. Health. Okay. We talked about health as well. Um, you might, it's almost like you suffer from like vague stuff because there is a huge sense of guilt going through your body all the time. Uh, the feeling of, I don't do enough, right? And it's like, this comes from having a low self-worth. And it's like, I don't do enough. I don't do enough. And this is where you overly give and your health is uh, not progressing. So, perseverance for work. And then let other people do things for you, okay? Like also get help in the sense of let people help you, let people love you, let people support you and be there for you, okay? Indecision and purpose, yes, and service. So if you're not sure what to do, definitely your purpose is to have some kind of service right? And we have Jupiter in the sixth house right now, which is like focused on teaching, being of service. And a lot of you have Leo in the 10th house. So Leo is ruled by passion. So you need to have a job um, or do things to make money that makes you feel very, very passionate. Um, and there might be times that your partner is earning more than you because Taurus uh, is the financial sign and that's okay and with Uranus in the seventh house could also be that you're trying new ways of being in a relationship it could be that you meet online through a dating site right and you need to make some kind of decision on where to move Saturn in the fourth house could also be that um, you're trying like some kind of open relationship trying some new things 
um, there's no judgment. Anything that makes you happy in agreement with two people is fine. So that's my message for you, my super amazing Scorpios. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel so I know you like it and you want to see many more videos. And um, I will hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.